good everybody welcome back to another video on my channel hopefully you guys have enjoyed all the content i've been able to put out so far so like i said uh, i'm gonna keep doing a mix of like vlogs and training content so this video i kind of just want to focus uh, on the topics i'm gonna be covering today uh basically what i'm gonna be covering are the 10 rules that i've pretty much come came up with over the last six years of my day trading experience, my day trading career. So before we actually continue on with the rest of the video, I wanted to let you guys know that for the next three weeks, because week one is already over, I'm gonna be hosting a class every single Sunday, completely free of charge at 8 p.m. Eastern. The last day of the class is gonna be Sunday, December 19th. So like I said, again, every single Sunday, I'm gonna be hosting a webinar for you guys, so you guys can come on, learn, even if you guys don't attend the actual live webinar itself, the recording will be sent to your email so you guys can view it later on and gain a bunch of free value and information from that uh, as well. We already did the first webinar, so week one is done out of the four weeks. I got a bunch of great feedback from it, so if you guys are interested in signing up for the next three classes, the registration link will be down below, or you can follow the Day Training Institution's Instagram page for more updates. Now let's go on with the rest of the video. All right, everybody, so with that being said, let's get right into the first rule. So I'm gonna be giving you guys the 10 rules that you should look to incorporate. Probably within your own trading career, it's only gonna probably help you uh, accelerate where you are within your own trading. So let's get right into it. So rule number one is probably the most important rule that all of us as traders can agree is risk management. You need to be able to come into the markets every single day and manage your risk properly so that you can actually have a sustainable uh, return on your investment and you can actually have a longevity within the markets and have a longevity within your trading career. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of the 90-90-90 rule where 90% of traders lose 90% of their capital within 90 days and we put risk management into place so we can avoid being part of that 90%. Now, with that being said, something that I've also learned within my trading career is that flipping accounts is something that's not sustainable. It's not sustainable over a long period of time. Sure, you could actually flip accounts within a short period of time, maybe a few weeks to even a quarter being three months, but eventually with a very poor risk management system, you're going to end up blowing that account. Because once you start taking a few losses, what's gonna happen is your confidence, you're going to start to be like, okay, well, I've already taken three losses in a row, I'm most likely gonna win the next trade. You're gonna put in an even bigger position size and most likely take an even bigger loss. So we're here in the markets to focus on sustainability and be able to actually make a return on an investment every single month, to every quarter, to every single so year. Now let's get right into rule number two, which follows shortly behind risk management, which is gonna be a trading journal and you need to be able to track your performance through this trading journal. Now it doesn't matter whether you're using a handwritten journal, if you're using a program such as Edgewonk, or if you're using a program such as TrackFX where it's a little bit uh, more automated than Edgewalk and a manual journal, you need to find a way where you can consistently have a trading journal and be able to track your performance. Now within your trading journal, you need to state what you did good on that specific trading day and what you did bad so you can start avoiding making those same mistakes. Because even if it's only two or three mistakes a year that you're making, you're costing yourselves thousands or tens of thousands of dollars depending on what size capital you're trading. So just by starting to eliminate as many mistakes as possible or any bad habits that you see coming up on your journal when you're reflecting on your journal, you could actually start making more money in the long term by just eliminating as many mistakes as possible. You also need to be able to see the strengths of your strategy and the weaknesses of your strategy so you can properly know what type of position sizing moving forward with a specific trading setup that you find within your journal. Typically, some traders might only be taking your high probability setups. They have two or three setups that they know the probability of those setups. So if you see a setup occur on your trading journal where you see, hey, you know, I've lost this trading setup, you know, four out of 10 trades and it wins six out of 10 trades, then you know, hey, let's not go too aggressive on that trading setup versus when you're looking at your journal, you're saying, okay, trading setup B made me seven winners and only three losers you may want to trade that more aggressively and add bigger position sizing to those trading setups versus your first trading setups, which is setup A, which you know you lose uh, four per or four trades out of six trades. All right guys, so let's get right into the third rule, which this is a more psychological rule, but this is a rule I set 
on myself, especially early on in my trading career, which is rule number three, never give up. You never wanna give up on your goals, you never wanna give up on your dreams. Just as you can see, uh, the camera in the back, that's my McLaren 600LT, which is another car I dreamed of and I worked so hard to, and I knew that I was only gonna get to that goal by never giving up. So that's rule number three for you guys. One thing that I always told myself in the beginning as a newer trader is the only traders that fail are the ones that quit, which is the reality of what it is. Because everybody's gonna have a different timestamp on when they're gonna find success within the markets. Johnny might find success within the markets, you know, within the first year, while Steven might find success within the first, you know, three, four years, while it might take somebody else 10 years to find success in the markets. You'll never truly know when you're gonna find success within the markets, especially if you give up early and you quit. What you're doing by quitting is putting a potential cap on yourself and what you could potentially achieve with inside of the markets and you never want to give up you never want to quit on your goals and dreams and that's just within any field that should be one of your rules is never give up and you're going to try and find any way possible and you're going to work as hard as you possibly could to find that success within the market now let's move on to rule number four which is you want to start small trading is not a process that you're just going to come into the markets and start making tens of thousands of dollars every single trade you're gonna have your days where you have $100 days and you wanna start small, you don't wanna rush the process. Trading is a marathon, it is not a sprint. I'm sure you guys have heard of that as well. You wanna start small, you wanna start with focusing on having your first $100 trading day and then slowly start scaling up. You're gonna go from 100 to 200 to 300 to 400 to 500 to 600 to 700 to 1,000 to 10,000 to 50,000 to 70,000 to then 100,000 right you're going to slowly start scaling your trading over a long period of time so you can understand how leveling up is like in trading and dealing with the psychological barriers of leveling up in trading because remember the same trader that can't manage a ten thousand dollar account can't manage in a hundred thousand dollar account you need to be able to manage ten thousand before you manage 15 before you manage 20 before you manage 30 so on and so forth and you're only going to be doing that by scaling up and really taking your time with this process and going through that learning curve. Like I said guys, trading is a marathon, it is not a sprint. This is why trading on social media could also be a very toxic thing because you see, hey, you know, this guy is trading, you know, 30 pairs of trade or this guy is trading, you know, 50 lots in a single position and I'm only doing two lots and that's gonna wanna start to kind of push you to push yourselves, which isn't bad, but it's it can be very destructive because that's outside of your skill level. If you see somebody, you know, throwing lot sizes that are way bigger than yours, don't focus on that. Just think about what the person has to have gone through to be able to level up to those lot sizes. Just keep in mind, every time you start entering bigger and bigger position sizing, right, you're gonna have different psychological barriers because the numbers start changing so much faster. When we first enter a trade, we know that there's a spread that negative spread is gonna be a difference between a few dollars and a few hundred dollars and a few thousands of dollars depending on the position size you throw. So immediately off the bat, you're gonna be losing more money than what you would have with your previous position size. This is why we wanna slowly scale our trading, go from one lots to two lots to then three lots to four lots. You slowly start scaling your trading so you could find a sustainable return on investment every single month and you don't just see your p and go straight up and then straight down and then back up and then back down. You wanna see a nice equity curve showing sustain. Now let's get into rule number five, which is very simple. You need to have a set of rules within your trading plan. You need to have a set of rules to prevent you from over trading. You need to have a set of rules to prevent you from over leveraging. You need to have a set of rules on how many trades you're gonna take in a day. You need to have a set of rules of when you're gonna be trading. You need to have rules set for a pre-market analysis, a post-market analysis. You need to set rules around your trading so you can make your trading as business-like as possible. Because remember, when we're actually trading, we are self-employed individuals. Now, keep one thing in mind. We set these rules in place to avoid making as many mistakes as possible. Let me give you two examples, right? So let's say you work for a big company or a big corporation and you actually end up breaking some of their policies or some of their rules two or three times a year. 
you could potentially be costing that company tens of thousands of dollars every single year. Most likely by the end of the year, once the company realizes this, you would probably be, be out of a job. And this is where you have to hold yourself accountable as a day trader because we don't have a boss to hold ourselves accountable for our mistakes. We have to hold ourselves accountable for our mistakes as a day trader. And if you're breaking your rules even two or three times a year, something as small as that, because we're human, it's gonna happen, you're gonna be costing yourself tens of thousands of dollars and you'll probably again be out of a trading job if you're costing yourself that much money. So we wanna have a set of rules in place and just to give you guys an example of some rules that you guys could set is either I'm only gonna take a maximum of two trades a day at a one or two percent risk per trade. My minimum target for my trades are gonna be two times whatever I'm risking. I'm only gonna trade the London or the New York session or maybe I'm gonna only be trading the London to New York crossover. My post-market analysis is gonna be 5 p.m. at market close. My pre-market analysis is gonna be 6 a.m. at pre-New York session and so on and so forth. You could, you know, again, you know, find a different way to set a bunch of rules for your own trading. Uh, again, everyone's gonna have a different trading methodology, you know, set of rules for what time frames you're gonna be trading on, your entry pattern, your exit pattern. You wanna set a rule for pretty much everything possible. You even wanna have a pre-market analysis system in place, but I'm not trying to veer off too much. I just kind of wanna give you guys that rule that you guys need to set rules for your trading. So let's get right in to rule number six, which is a trading routine, which is very similar to setting rules, except when it comes to our trading routine, we need a specific time to be able to get in and up in the market and then to get out of the market and then come back in the market to do our homework. So what I mean by that is you need to set a time to do your pre-market analysis where you're gonna be planning your trade. And then you're gonna have your active trading time and then you need to be able to set a time to do your homework on how the trading day went. This is gonna be two different times where you're gonna be incorporating your trading journal. Your post-market analysis typically is gonna be a few hours after your trading session has ended, but you need to be able to set a time before your trading session and after your trading session where you're gonna consistently show up every single day and perform those two acts, being the pre-market analysis and the post-market analysis, and that was rule number six, which is have a trading routine. Again, you need to set a time for your pre-market analysis, your active trading, and then your post-market analysis. That being said, let's get right into rule number seven, which is having a balance. You need to have a balance when you are a trader because we are doing the objective of trading to live, not living to trade. You need to be able to have a balance where you separate yourself from the markets because psychologically we need it. The trading is a very stressful and it can be in a very emotional thing, especially on losing days. You're gonna be very bitter. You could be definitely a little bit salty that you may have taken a loss because you broke your rules and you tend to take that out on people depending on who you are. I know for me in my case, when I took ridiculous losses that I was so upset, it would ruin my entire day. You need to be able to have a balance and separate yourself from the charts. You know that, hey, I just took a really big loss today. Go to the park, go to the pool, walk your dog, do whatever you gotta do to remove yourself from the actual market so you avoid over trading, which is something that you could potentially do uh, as well and it's a very destructive habit is over trading once you start actually answering a few losses you're gonna make your loss compound and become a bigger and bigger loss by taking ridiculous trades that are outside of your trading plan so we need to have a balance in life with everything you need to have your work time you need to have your trading time if you're trading you know part-time or even if you're trading full-time you need to have a set time to do your trading where again you have your post for your pre-market analysis and your active trading is pretty much gonna be around the same time. And then your post-market analysis should be later on in the day when you're gonna come back into the market, reflect on how the day went and continue your journal and then end the night there and prepare for the next trading day. But you need to have a balance in life with whatever you do, it doesn't matter. You need to be able to separate yourselves from the charts and just take a break until the next trading day. So with that being said, let's get into rule number eight, which is gonna be you need to focus on a price action strategy. So it doesn't matter what strategy you're trading out there, something that is going to always be true is not a strategy based off of indicators. It's not a strategy based off of a Fibonacci retracement tool. 
your main strategy, the foundation of your trading strategy should be based off of price action and price action only. You're going to be able to read and analyze the market a lot better if you solely focus on price action. And one thing I've always revolved my trading around mainly is reading price and price action itself. And that's it. I would try and keep trading as simple as I possibly could. But at the same time, I need to be able to come into the market and read the data that the price action is showing me. And it's a very simple rule, but it's a very effective rule. We need to focus on price. Don't focus on indicators too much. Just simply focus on price action. And now let's get into rule number nine, which is having a mentor. It doesn't matter if you want to have me as a mentor, if you want to have somebody else as a mentor, but you need to have somebody there so you can go and kind of consult with that person to try and review what you're doing wrong and how you could potentially improve on your trading because somebody like me has already gone through a big learning curve where we've learned a lot of things about the market and we have already know what certain mistakes to avoid and what bad habits to avoid and just something as simple as having a mentor could definitely shorten your learning curve whether you're going out on your own which you could do 100 percent whether you're going out on your own and learning trading all by yourself having a mentor again is just going to be a lot easier for you to just shorten your learning curve and teach you how to actually trade profitably now again with that being said, you know, it's ultimately up to you if you want me to be your mentor or not. I have a bunch of free content out there. I don't have a, mem a mentorship program and the day trading institution is about 21 days from actually launching. So if you guys are interested in the day trading institution, you could apply with the link in the description. The registration is only going to be open from seven days. So I'm going to completely close the registration December 27th or only allowing maximum of 100 new students to actually join. So if you guys aren't interested in joining my mentorship, you could with the link down in the description. And then with that being said, number 10, this is something that's fairly new, is get funded. A lot of traders nowadays don't really have the capital to actually be able to make a substantial amount of money to actually be able to pay for their lifestyle. So getting funded is something that you should definitely look into and you wanna reinvest those profits from that funded company into your own personal live account. So if you guys are interested in joining us here at FMS, you can do that as well. So you guys can just check us out. You know, we offer a bi-weekly payout and an 80% profit split, but definitely getting funded is something that's gonna be able to help you build your own trading capital. Again, you need to be able to have at least a part-time job to pay for your expenses. So trading can be stress-free as possible because imagine you already learning how to trade and finally getting to that consistent profitability and you're cutting yourself short by adding the extra stress by quitting your job so early on and not making as much money trading and trying to rely on trading to pay for your bills. If you get a funded account, let's just say 200K, you make 10% a month, that's $20,000 a month and you get to keep 80% of those profits. Again, I highly recommend you invest, reinvest all of that money into your own personal live account so you can have both. But definitely getting funded is something that I would highly recommend all of you look into. And those are the 10 simple rules that I wanted you guys to actually look at. And this is just me putting these 10 rules, uh, you know, from a bunch of years of experience. Now, I can obviously continue to ramble, but I just kind of wanted to get some core principles out for you guys to potentially help you guys out with your trading career. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a comment if you did, drop a like. It lets me know that you guys like these types of videos. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, definitely let me know. And if you're interested in joining the Day Trading Institution, like I said, the launch is going to be December 20th. We do have an application process, so you could look to apply with the link in the bio. You can also find anything else about me with the link in the descriptions. You can find my Instagram page. You can find the Day Trading Institution's Instagram page. And you can join the free Telegram for more free content. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.